Greetings, my name is Jerry. Welcome or welcome back. Today we will be assembling this paper model, a digital download from creativevilla.com. It's one of the many 3D pet portraits available on the site, ranging from beginner to advanced in a variety of categories. This project, when complete, will fit inside a standard 8 by 10 inch frame. Before we get started, I want to show you the final assembled model. This particular download includes sheets of wood color, which you can print out on one side of your page and then flip it over to print the template. When you assemble the model, it will look like it's made of wood. Various projects include various wood texture sheets, like maple for a light color, mahogany for a brown look, and walnut for a darker, almost black feel. Of course, you can use any color paper you would like. For this project, you will need the following. 8.5 by 11 inch paper around 80 pound thickness or similar weight cardstock. A scoring tool or dull edge knife for scoring fold lines. You can find scoring tools at your local hobby store or of course online. A model or paper craft cutting knife. I will be using and recommend a sharp egg sacto type knife. These are extremely sharp and are definitely an adult tool so please be careful when using an egg sacto knife. A straight edge for cutting and scoring. I recommend a transparent straight edge so you can see what's underneath. I'll be using a small clear drafted triangle, which you can see is pretty beat up, but works just fine. And lastly, quick dry model glue or super glue, which is what I use and recommend for fast gluing to keep your project moving along quickly. The downside to super glue, as you will see in most of my videos, it's easy to glue your fingers to the paper or to each other, so please be careful when using super glue with your projects. I've downloaded the templates from creativevilla.com. I've printed out the instructions on plain paper, which includes an easy step-by-step -step visual guide for assembling the model. Per the instructions, I've printed out the templates on the recommended paper colors. Every paper model template comes with an instruction sheet detailing the difficulty level of this particular model, how many pieces of paper you will need, as well as some short but detailed instructions on recommended assembly. Creative Villa paper models are broken up into elements. These elements are usually assembled individually and then attached to other elements as the model progresses until the entire model is complete. Note the pro tips at the bottom of the page. Assemble from small to large, from center to out, and from inside enclosed areas to open areas. On all the templates, you will see different types of lines which make up each piece. A solid line which surrounds the piece. This is what you will cut out with your knife. A line with long dashes. This is a fold line. It will need to be scored and then folded away from you. This would represent an edge of a table, for example. A line made up of dots is a fold line as well, but will be folded towards you. Think of this as where a wall in your room meets the floor. The tabs are where you will put glue to attach the pieces together. Each tab has a letter, or in some cases, a number. Line up the matching letters or numbers to each other. Tabs starting with letters represent attaching pieces within an element, like an arm, for example. Tabs starting with numbers represent attaching two elements together, like an arm to a body. The letters and numbers will be glued inside the model. When looking at these templates, you are actually looking at the inside of the model, and the back of the sheet will end up being the outside of the model. Per the instructions, I'm starting at step number one. I'll score the nose piece and then cut it out and glue it together. Then move on to step two and the rest in order. I'm following the included visual step-by-step -step sheet, and the steps will also appear in the upper left corner of this video, so you can follow along as I go. As with all my videos, I'll fast forward through the boring bits, but stop occasionally to explain what I'm doing. I prefer to score the fold lines before cutting out the individual pieces. It's just easier in my opinion to score a large sheet rather than small little bits of paper. I'm gonna fold all the fold lines on this piece and then attach it to itself. I'm carefully bending the fold lines to create a nice crease. Don't be shy about rescoring if you think you need a sharper crease. With the right score, it should fold without too much resistance. I always stress in my videos the importance of good scoring. It will make your model assembling a lot easier and a lot more fun. All right, now I'll glue this piece to itself.
If you find that the white of the paper is showing through on the cut end, you can just take a black marker and run it down the edge a bit. If you find that some of the tabs are not perfectly attached or maybe there wasn't enough glue on them, here is a great trick. Put just a small bit of glue on the edge of a piece of paper and slip it in the crack of the tab and spread it around a little. Then just hold for a bit to close the tab nicely.
A quick request regarding your scraps. Please consider recycling your paper scraps. These will go back into the system to produce products you use every day like cardboard, paper towels, and newspapers.
Before we continue, I want to talk about what happens if you get glue on one of the outside faces, which by the way will happen a lot. You can be as careful as you want, but it will happen. Couple things you can do. If you are using coated paper, usually shiny or glossy, there is a good chance you can remove the glue from the paper using something like Goo Gone or Glue Remover without hurting the paper. As you can see by my bottle, I'm no stranger to glue cleanup. However, if you're using non-coated paper, like construction paper, or what I'm using now, getting glue on the outside face will soak into the paper and be almost impossible to clean up. But all is not lost. What I do is print out the template again on standard cheap white printer paper. Then, using my scraps, I cut out a little patch piece for the face that got ruined. Simply place it where it belongs, make sure it fits, and then glue that piece on top of the one with the glue stain. Looks like I forgot to glue these tabs, so I'll do that now. And here is the final assembled model. That completes this assemble video. I hope you got some good tips and ideas that you can bring to your own projects. You can find the link to this digital download project and many others from creativevilla.com in the description below. If you have any suggestions for future Assemble videos, let us know in the comments below. Thanks and best wishes. You can find more fun paper model templates like this one over at creativevilla.com. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notified when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.